when you stop, you will realize that the earth is still moving. And when you travel, you will notice that the earth travels with you. So in order for you to get to a place where you truly want to be, you have to travel at a speed that is faster than what the earth is traveling at. And to move faster, you have to slow down. Muslims all over the world are facing adversity. Nations, cities, communities and in our own homes. Adversity is not a punishment, it is a blessing. And even though our heart echoes the message to our mind that we are not worth anything and that we have no value when facing difficult times in our life, the truth is that individuals who suffer from adversity are the ones that Allah truly values. And we feel like we lose a lot of our emotions such as our emotion with time, money, progress and relationships but adversity makes us richer. Adversity is a blessing in disguise from Allah because in those moments where everywhere we look around us we don't see anything that remotely looks like hope happiness or success, our intelligence increases, our minds become purer and we learn what life is truly about. Individuals who have faced adversity are unique. They have been taught something that no one else has. They can feel in a way that no one else can feel. They can visualize things that no one else can see. The seed of reason and thankfulness is planted within their mind and they learn how to operate on a higher level of being. So my dear Muslims, when you are facing the fierceness of a storm, you should thank Allah as he is shaping you into the character that you were born and designed to be. And we learn unique knowledge when faced with hardship, knowledge that does not die in our graves, but knowledge that has a desire to divinely translate from thoughts into ideas that can positively change future generations. People who suffer from adversity are ambassadors for the possibility of a better life. A world where women and children aren't raped and families have food to eat, where imagination within a child's mind can be supplemented by a worldwide educational system available to every child who wants to be great regardless of the country in which they reside. Positive change comes through individuals who have suffered adversity. Having a frivolous life is a disease. Our Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, said that you are a guardian. You are a guardian over your subjects. Allow pain to power you to make a difference. Let the philanthropy curate in your heart. Sadness be your strength and your love for Allah to be the why. You have to believe when there is no evidence around you that you are truly blessed.